Yeah. Your inspiration is working. It's all about making sure that it's good. You know? I remember when I was in prison, she did this interview. And a lot of people were saying, oh, she's delusional, she's this, she's that, cartel not coming out, blah, blah, blah. Look at us now. <laughs> Don? Oh. Wagwan well, viewers and subscribers, how are you guys doing? Hope you're having a pleasant day. Welcome to our next upload of our next update. We got so much to take you through today, definitely quick and fast, and I know you don't want to miss this. You got to stick around to the end of the content to get the full story. Definitely. But before we kick it off and go any further, if it's your first time here, please give the video a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, put your post notification bell on. Yes, I. In our upload today, definitely, we got the man Carl Vibes. Cartel was on his fourth interview, definitely, and he was asked about how he released his tracks in prison. Why? It's going to blow your mind when you hear the man. So, also in our upload today, definitely, it's about Vibes Cartel again proposing to see them yes the man put on the ring people that's on the upload today we got the man called sean stam was on the fix podcast whereby he was asked about black rhino reaching out to him and if you hear what sean stam said this and so much more in our upload today definitely see what i want to kick it off quick and fast and we're going to kick it off with a man called vibes cartel yes now mr vibes cartel proposed to see them people you know this is big so we gotta deal with this first and foremost Congratulations to see them and Vibes Cartel. As you guys could see right now, the man was on his knees putting on the ring. So we're definitely looking out for a big wedding coming soon. Once again, congratulations to see them and congratulations to the man called Mr. Vibes Cartel. Definitely. Anyway, come to the bar gig, come to the kasha talking about Mr. Vibes Cartel. Now, you guys know Vibes Cartel show is scheduled for the 3rd of 1st of December. Yes, tickets will be out. August 3rd of 1st. Now the scamming done start. We see whereby Scatter uploaded this photo to his Instagram page whereby he's saying fake page people. Jaja God. See, I tried to mess with the chopper them. Don't set up a whole fake page. <laughs> and basically, when he uploaded that, he said, At the moment, there is no IG page for Freedom Street concert. Any information from these platforms should be demand as unofficial don't get scammed you understand so you don't know what go on it's unofficial this is not official so if you guys see this page anywhere around claiming that tickets are selling yeah man you don't know what go on scatter don't make no no says fake mm -hmm. anyway cut to the baggy cut to the kasha world boss addy yeah man mr vibes cartel was on a interview a few hours ago whereby he was asked how he released his music in prison people this is gonna blow your mind take a listen what vibes cartel said the first couple years you were still releasing music and everybody was like yo he just records so much that it's just music that's been left over that's coming out and then after five years we were like yo my man what's going on here like <laughs> music he's like referencing you referencing modern day shit we're like what's going on here well, initially that was true because I did record a lot of songs. So like in the first of course. year, yeah, we had songs unreleased. But then, you know what I mean? Yeah, the songs yeah. ran out and we had to do what we had to do. So that's when I started recording like behind bars, which was, I mean, it, was, it wasn't it was really that hard because, you know, technology made it easier. You know, we, yeah. we I used to record on the iPhone, on the iPhone 6. Yeah. Yeah, because it has an amazing, not the six, the five plus, or the five, what's it, the five, uh -huh. maybe? Or the five, yeah, something like that. Yeah, but but it has an amazing sound yeah. quality. Yeah, so Fever, all those songs right. were recorded on that that little iPhone. With, no. with a mic? You had a mic no attached mic, to no it? No mic. I had to DJ directly into the, into the iPhone. Straight into the phone? Yeah, but I used my, my under, under bunk. You had they gave you a mattress, right? Oh my God. So I used the mattress to imitate the padding in the studio. So I had to yeah. I had the phone like three feet away from my face and I wrapped the mattress around my head and recorded Yo. it was crazy, man. 
on my knees too. I had to and you had the beat. It was crazy, bro. No, sir. Cha cha, God. Who could believe that? Wow. You're making joke when you have talent, dog. Here with the man saying use to record an iPhone, a mattress. <laughs> I can't believe it, dog. But here we go, on, people. Leave the comments below. Let me know what you think. You understand? And we continue back to the cash up. We got the man, Mr. Sean Stam. Now, Sean Stam was on the Fix Podcast. Yes, a few hours ago. And a lot of questions was asked. And you guys know the Black Rhino situation definitely resurfaced. Whereby they asked about the Black Rhino reaching out to Sean Stam. Now, you guys can remember this post here, Black Rhino made whereby he said he tried to reach out to Sean Storm or the guys that clicked them or whatever is the case. People, take a listen to what Sean Storm said. Yeah. Big up Gracie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, see, Rhino did a show some message between us. With Rhino? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, right. Like, he did a real box about guys. Like, he didn't make a talk. Like, said, some, some guys are people like them. Never did that, but he showed a message and yeah, said, I reach out. You don't see that. You don't see it? You want me to show you? Yeah, sure, I'm sure, man. <laughs> no, you don't have to show me. You know, man, say, <laughs> reach out, man. You know, sometimes, as me I tell you, say, people, you know, people just, it's like, you can't understand people sometimes, brother. Because mm-hmm. we are trying to ride off our wave, off mm-hmm. our momentum. Brother, I'm a very, um, I'm a very, what I call it. Particular. I like them thing there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, my brother, me will see say I try to forward Roman now just because of the hype. I'm literally pussy wally up my youth. And I said, dog, where are you, brother? Where you never want to reach out to me, my youth? Before I come around. Dog, I'm take them things serious, you know, brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jaja God. Well, you know, hear what Sean Stam just said. Boy, I mean, I tell you, Rasta, the man, this black crying and the wickedest way, dog. I'm telling you this. Me is a boy, I'm not friendly, friendly like that, you know? Thank God, I'm not friendly, friendly like that. But me have a, me understand where Sean Stam is coming from. Because basically, Sean Stam is saying that it wasn't a case whereby he reached out to him when he was in prison. It's still when he come out of prison, that's when black rhino tried to reach out to him. So when I know might hear Black Rhino say something about this. Such a god. Anyway, come to the ball game, continue the kasha. We got dancehall artist in hands was on Toxic Talk with J Free. And he was asked about the vibes cartel being his father. Boy, and the answer that he gave was a total different answer that he gave to Wilfred on the on stage interview that he was on. People, take a listen. This rumor about Cartel being a father. It's Cartel a father. I mean, I don't know, I mean, I know if, 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 if she has something to tell him. Growing up, I never hear say I'm my father. Mm-hmm. Did she even know him before you were born? I think, probably, I, mean, I don't know. Really, I don't know. As long as I can remember, as far as I can remember, I know my mother knowing him. Because I remember, say, years ago, that, like, me and I, like, second grade, I say. No. I don't really remember much. Way past that. And, and, and now, him come out, your mother not, not so not to you, say, all right? <laughs> no, he will live all the years, then when him never, before him go in and since him go in and, hey, she never have that face then. She never have that face now. But he never hear that, me no grew up here, that I guess a lot of people have that face. So you look like your father? Like your, like your father, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think so. But anybody can be able to be a man. Just don't hurt enhance what he said. <laughs> Yo, man, I tell a liar that John knows time. I could imagine what this brother go through more time in our streets. I don't nah make no lie. I don't nah make no joke. Anyway, this is where we're going to pull the curtains down, man. It was a pleasure being here with you guys. Like I said, if you watch the content so far, really would appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. Put your post notification bell on and leave those comments. FF Vibes TV Gang, was a pleasure being here with you guys. The review boss. We'll bring the review fast. Until next time, see you now. Duh. Uh.